You know, the, 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 the two simple problems that we face as individuals in doing something about slavery have to do with awareness on one hand and resources on the other. And you, you got to find a way to learn about, about slavery or in your life and also in, in the lives of other people around the world. That could be reading books, watching films, sharing with other people, whatever it takes to, to find out what you need to know to find your place in that movement, that global movement of all those people who've decided it's time to bring it to an end. Because step two is join that movement. You know, you, this is a problem that's too big for any individual. We've got to get together to fix this problem. We've got to join with other people to fix this problem. And that's, that's where those resources come in. Because right now, around the world, there are liberators that are working alone, that can't count on their salary, that don't have enough fuel for their vehicles, that don't have enough, you know, ink in their pens. I mean, it doesn't matter. They, they don't have what they need. They don't have the tools to, to do their job. And if we had the resources, we could clone those liberators. We could, we could turn, we could say, okay, everywhere there's, a, there's somebody getting people out of slavery today, next year there's going to be three people or five people. We're going to make sure that those people have apprentices and people to help them out and they have the tools to do their job. And you'd see that, you know, when you, when you replace one liberator with five, you, you probably free five times more slaves as well, if not more, because you, they, they begin to make a team as well. So you learn, you join, and then you act and you help bring those resources to bear on the problem.